Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about coupling dynamics and the topic for this video is we get too many jealousy outbreaks. Wow, jealousy is such a vast topic in relationships and it controls and locks you into patterns that sometimes are really uncomfortable. So what I want to tell you into this video, the first thing is that I've got a couple of programs on my website, Jealousy for Men, Jealousy for Women, a really long article about 40 pages on how to deal with a controlling, jealous or demanding partner. So there are much more resources on the website or maybe on the program. I might post them uh, directly over there as well. So. The jealousy patterns, uh, it's such a vast field, but I'm going to give you a couple of hints. The first thing, if you are the jealous person, the jealous one, and you tend to attack or challenge your partner over what, can, what we can call unjustified jealousy, uh, it's very important to understand uh, the, the, the patterns that are involved in that. The first thing, it is that you have what we can call really justified and unjustified jealousy. Probably 95% of the jealousy outbreaks that are happening to couples in the Western world are um, jealousy patterns that are not needed. It means they are not justified. When I say not justified, it means that there is no real danger or challenge on the relationship. The fact that your partner might have a conversation with somebody else doesn't mean that they are going to go and sleep with that person and have sex with them. It doesn't mean that they are dating. They are just having conversations. So for instance, if you see your partner having a conversation with another person, you know, of the opposite sex, that person might be sexy, they might be attractive, you go like, the moment you start reacting, most of the times that's going to be an overreaction. Because the fact that there is a conversation happening doesn't mean that there is a betrayal. It's not cheating. It's just having a conversation. So that's the first thing. Understand the distinction between justified and unjustified. And when you look into your patterns, the places where your partner is reacting or you are reacting, ask yourself, is that jealousy justified or not? So... Then you have the second pattern. The second pattern is the situations where jealousy is actually justified. So when there is a pattern, for instance, if your partner is really, really flirting at an event, you are at a party, you are out, and he's completely or she's completely ignoring you, then eventually you might feel a trigger that could be justified. The thing that you have to, to, to do at that point is be extremely smart in the way you are going to use your jealousy weapon. I just told you something here that is really important, is that we use, we um, uh, accept or we attract the idea that jealousy can be a set of positive behaviors. Jealousy is not always negative. Sometimes you are going to have a threat on the relationship or your, on your couple, and that threat is real. So having some tools, having some powers, having something that I call jealousy weapons is going to allow you to, um, to basically position yourself as the alpha person in that person's life. So again, it's a really vast topic. We won't have the time to cover everything in there, but understand that not all jealousy is bad. Is the jealousy that you are experiencing seeing justified or not so is the jealousy coming from you is it coming from your partner your boyfriend girlfriend husband or wife and uh, the second thing is understand that there are situations where you want to use what we can call your jealousy weapons so positive jealousy responses for instance if you go back home and then you start a fight with your partner you're going to achieve the exact opposite of what you want what you want when you're having a, je a jealousy outbreak you are afraid or you're triggered because you feel like you are losing connection with your partner so if you start to fight most of the times that's going to increase the dissonance you are going to end up being far apart from each other so if you want to create connection with your partner, the way you use your jealousy weapons, you have to do that in a really smart way. So what does that mean? It means you communicate in ways that are really calm. Hey, this was a fun evening tonight. Wow, this girl was full on into you, man. I think uh, 
yeah, she, she's really cute. I'm glad I connected with her after that. So you see that right there, um, you are already expressing your jealousy. You are expressing a pattern towards your partner, which is not coming from a heavy trigger zone. You, what you are saying right there, you know, mentioning the fact that there was a girl there in his field who was attracted to him, you are not coming out in a reactive mode. You're simply mentioning it and you say, ah, you know, you're using a little bit of humor, a little bit of deflection, letting him see that you were potentially a little bit triggered by it, but you're not creating a separation. So you are coming back into each other's arms and allowing that discomfort or that emotion to take place without necessarily going and challenging and attacking your partner over it. So if at that point you were having what we can call a jealousy outbreak and, you know, exploding and getting really wild and verbally violent with your partner, then most of the times, you know, what this is going to create is going to create a separation, especially when it's a little bit on the edge. You know, if it's just a conversation, your partner might say something like, "Wow, well, you know, we were just chatting. It's okay. You are the person I choose to be with and uh, you are the, the woman with who I'm going to spend the night with. So don't worry. I'm not planning on cheating with that person. I got her number. She gave me her number, but I'm not intending on following up with that. So, uh, what what this man did right there is reassuring as well his partner that everything is okay. So reassuring, you know, playing with those all those patterns is uh, is really something that you can that you can do. Uh, you are not the jealous type, okay? <laughs> no matter how you look at it, your partner is not the jealous type. What you develop uh, when it comes to jealousy are just coping mechanisms. You give it your best shot at responding to a situation that might feel challenging. That's it. This is what's happening. So these are all patterns that you can learn how to reframe, how to reorient, how to reorganize. Again, I've got dozens of videos on the topic and you can go and check again on my website, vitalcoaching.com, search for jealousy for men or jealousy for women, uh, how to deal with a control freak, you know, those kind of articles. There is tons of resources out there. So I won't expand too much on, on there. What I want to tell you is that there are solutions, there are ways of reframing your jealousy, shifting behavior, shifting energetic responses so that it doesn't negatively impact on your relationship. I have a couple of ebooks on, on the topic as well. It's called, one of them is called Master Your Jealousy Before It Destroys Your Relationship. One of them for women, another one for men, so that you really understand those dynamics. Okay, so if you are in the jealous uh, zone, Again, check those programs, uh, get in touch with me for coaching sessions. I can help you as well within that context. I'll see you soon for another video tip.